Hey YouTube, Skipper T here. I'm going to do a video today on something I've always wanted and recently picked up off of Amazon. This is going to be a review today of the MTN snowshoes. Um, again, I've always wanted a set of these. Uh, I found them on, on Amazon. They were relatively inexpensive. I believe they list for 49 and some change. Um, this came as a package. Um, the snowshoes are in this bag, came with the bag. It also came with a set of walking sticks, which I thought overall was a pretty good deal. Um, I've been to the stores, I've looked at them over the last couple of years. Um, everything in our local retail stores uh, were running about $150 on up to about $300. And as somebody that's not going to be using them for well, 20 or 30 years, I thought I would try something that was a little bit less expensive and I would get my feet wet, ha, huh, no pun intended, and see if we could, you know, figure out how to use them and, you know, try to walk in the snow with them. Now, I live in the Midwest the last few years. We haven't had a whole lot of snow. So as a result, I may end up having to go somewhere this winter to actually test them out. But today I thought I would show you guys what I've picked up. Now this is the 30 inch Apollo version. They have multiple designations on under the MTN uh, snowshoes. This one is optimized as they say for 200 to 250 pounds. Now I'm a little over 200 myself, but you know you throw a pack on and, and you're gonna be in that 220 to 250 range fairly easily, especially in the winter time. So I thought I would get a set that would accommodate that. So, without further ado, let's get them out of the bag and take a look at them here. Nice case, like a 600 nylon type bag, water resistant, probably not waterproof. This is one of the snowshoes here. Um, and as you can see, it's just a basic snowshoe configuration. I do like the fact that the tail end is tipped up a bit and obviously the front end, the leading edge is going to be, you know, turned up so that you can, you know, manipulate through the snow and walk. Um, I keep this board in between the two of them as they do have grippers on the bottom. Once we get in close and I show you how to, to you know, bring the camera in so that you can see up close, you'll see what I'm talking about with the different... Um, looks like very thick aluminum here on the bottom and it's designed so that if you're on hard packed snow or you're blazing a trail or whatever it's going to give you a little gripping action on the snow itself um, because technically these are snowshoes made for walking and they're not skis designed for skiing so thus we've got the got the um, traction support on the bottom so anyway that's what one looks like the other one's just basically identical to it um, they've got some nice little bindings on them here. There's two up front for over the toe and a little bit further back. And then there's a heel strap back here. Uh, the heel strap can be adjusted in length. It's got a little extra pad here to go around the heel of your boot or shoe that you're wearing with these. It also has a quick disconnect here. So once you've get, gotten it set up for your own size shoe, you can just simply, you know, step in, step out. When I first got them, I was looking at them, well... Again, I'm ignorant to this, so if you guys have more information on them, please feel free to comment down below. Um, you know, information is strength, so gather all information. Please share information, your experiences. If you've ever had a set of these, let us know. I found it very difficult to find reviews on these online. There was a few on Amazon. Uh, one guy said he'd hiked like 106 miles with them and wasn't having any issues. I found that to be pretty good. Sounded like he was more of a backcountry hiker. Um, here in the plains, this should probably work out just fine. And again, you know, I just wanted something that was simple, uh, fairly economical, so that I could try this because I've never, never done this before. Anyway, as I was looking at them, I was trying to decide, are they left, right? They look like they're pretty much the same design. Didn't really see anything that would indicate like a footprint like you would have on your shoes. Uh, but one thing I did discover in the process and through further research is that the binding pull straps here to adjust the tension would be on the outside of your foot. So your left foot, it would be on the outside of the left foot. 
as you're looking at this particular one, the bindings are over here on the left side, so, you know, this would be the left snowshoe. Um, so without further ado, well, one other thing, I guess. I'll pull this out, another nice little carrying bag. It came with two walking poles. Again, this was a combination pack that I bought, and I found that to be really good. I like a good deal, maximized equipment um, with minimal uh, purchasing price, if you will. So, they're nice little handles. Um, this is some type of a, a rough, so it's textured. Appears to be some kind of a plastic or it's a little bit tacky, actually. So, um, I'm not sure what this material is. Standard walking poles, uh, you know, you just twist it to release. It does come with measurement markings on it so that you can set it up each time. Um, you know, just simply rotate it down like that. It does appear to have a spring function on it, so if you're using them, you know, not in the snow, um, and just using them as a hiking pole, that'll work out nicely. You can grip it down below like this. It's got a nice molded grip feel to the handle. Plus, you know, when I get older, it might work out good as a cane as well. Nice bright blue color. The tips do come off on the end so that if you're using this in a you know, more of a dry environment as a hiking pole. You've got these little carbon tips on them here uh, to reduce the wear on it would work pretty good with that. They come with what I consider to be kind of a very small snow cap here, um, but this will thread into this section of the spike at the end, help you from digging, you know, not going down into the snow too far. I may look to see if I can find a wider one, maybe a four or five inch in diameter, I think would would probably work a little bit better. Again, I don't know for sure. And would act more like the snowshoe and then shore your weight over a greater distance or a greater area rather and then help you keep from sinking down into the snow. I did bring a boot out here so um, yeah, we'll get it set into the, into the shoe. I'll show you how the bindings work on this, how we get everything set up. Uh, that way you can see it for yourself. But as I could not find a decent review on this online, I figured I'd go ahead and take care of that for us today. Anyway, guys, I'll move the camera in a little closer. We'll take a close-up look at these. And, um, you know, obviously, well, I won't say obviously because you don't know, but it's not snowing out. It's uh, September. It's about the 11th, I think, 10th or 11th of September. And uh, hopefully here shortly we'll have some snow and we'll get to test them out. Once it does snow, I will film a video and we'll see them in action. But until then, here's just a basic review. Okay, here we are with a little bit more of a close-up on these snowshoes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get one of them out of the way here. Here's a little bit better view of the hiking pole that came with it. Obviously, their logo's all over it. Um, they do seem like a pretty nice little walking stick. Um, in fact, you can, if you rotate the handle just a little bit farther, hear the click. Then what it does is it reduces the amount of spring tension on there, which you know if you're going up and down might be a pretty good thing. So you can lock it into being a stiff pull or you can have it so that it does do the compression when you're walking. Here's kind of a close up on those handles. Like I said, it's a textured type material. Has a nice grip to it. Be able to get your hand on there and do some nice walking. So I have several, well I have two other pairs of walking sticks i think i've shown those in in other videos when i was out hiking around and stuff but um you know it's a walking pole so um it's kind of nice i like the fact that it collapses down and it fits into that smaller bag all right here's what we've got this is the mtm snowshoe apollo 30 inch snowshoe um here's the heavy duty aluminum I think they're called I can't remember what you call these um, somebody out there post that in the comments that'd be fantastic so it's got a nice rigid um, multi point grip so that if you're on an icy trail you'd be able to see it it's also on the part that pivots with your shoe up here hopefully you guys can see a good rendition of that it's a plastic type material it's cut out fits on the inside of the frame here as you can see here it appears to be riveted through it's got decent sized washers on it 
fairly heavy duty. Here where your foot is, it is tied into the actual, this material here, which is part of the larger section down here. It's riveted here, it's wrapped around, and part of this material here is where the pivot point for your foot goes. And as you can see, that's all bolted in there through the through strap. So, I mean, technically, if that should break in the future, you should be able to replace it fairly easily. Um, this material seems like it's pretty tough. My only concern would be, obviously, the extreme temperatures of walking through snow and such. Hopefully, it won't crack and break. Um, but I'm assuming if you're making a shoe like this, it's designed to be in the colder temperatures. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the bindings are right here. It's got the foot, the heel strap here. I'm going to go ahead and open that up because we'll put the boot in there just to show what it looks like. Looks like the straps will come up over the top, toe, and then forward of your ankle area here. Uh, they'll be able to ratchet down. Looks like it's going to fit pretty nicely. Supposedly these will fit, you know, basically any size boot up to a 12 or so, maybe even a little bit larger. Uh, just depends on the toe of the boot itself. Um, this would be my only concern as this strap is fairly short. So anyway, um, these ratchet down. You can pull them tight. It's got a little release mechanism right in here. If you pull that, it releases the ratchet, which goes into the grooves that are on this rubber strap here. Uh, and then it should hold the boot into place. Again, it's got the heel strap. This can be adjusted so that it sits back behind your actual boot. Um, you know, or holds the heel on anyway. That way, as you step up and the shoe drops down like this, you know, it stays connected to the foot as you're walking through your snow. Okay, guys, this has been the review of the MTM 30-inch Apollo Snow Shoe. Um, that I acquired from Amazon. Like I said, about $49 and some change. This is what it looks like as you're walking. You know, the boot would pivot, allow you to do what you need to do. It's got the, I don't know, the grampons, crampons, something like that is what they call these that'll dig into the ice and snow, especially if you're on a trail that's already packed down. I think those will come in very handy. But anyway, guys, this is what it looks like. Can't wait to give them a try. This is going to be a hoot. Anyway, guys, if you know more about this than I do, please put comments down below. Be nice. Please like. Please subscribe. It would be fantastic. And remember, keep your head to correction. Keep your head up. Keep your eyes open. And we'll see you outside.